grow up politics now in the break. We're growing about taxes. We're going to talk about that in a second. Now, as we wait for Obama versus Romney to heat up as we approach November, the president is looking to pigeonhole Romney as the defender of the wealthy here. So he's pitching a plan for tax fairness, he calls it, so-called Buffett rule. Now, basically what this would do is require the million-dollar earners pay a tax rate no less than what a middle-class earner would pay. Most Americans agree with me. So do most millionaires. One survey found that two-thirds of millionaires support this idea. So do nearly half of all Republicans across America. So we just need some of the Republican politicians here in Washington to get on board with where the country is. Congress expected to vote on and reject the Buffett rule next week. Now, it's named, as most of you know, for billionaire investor Warren Buffett, now the world's third wealthiest person, and his secretary. Buffett, who makes his money off investments, pays an investor's tax rate, and so he gets a lower tax rate than, in fact, his secretary does. Now, before you go calling the president socialist, as we've heard, or communist, as some others threw around this week, we'll get into that in a little bit when it comes to the Buffett rule, I want you to take a look at this clip of a certain president talking about a letter that he got from a top earner. The idea may sound a little less socialistic coming from this guy. I am legally able to take advantage of the present tax code, nothing dishonest, doing what the law prescribes, and wind up paying a smaller salary than my secretary gets. Or, I mean, paying a smaller, I'm sorry, paying a smaller tax than my secretary pays. And he wrote me the letter to tell me he'd like to come to Washington and testify before Congress as to how that's possible for him to do and why it is wrong. That, my friends, the great communicator and my good friend, Congressman, um, the most beloved figure to this day in the grand all party, he seems to say a little bit of equity wouldn't be a bad thing. Why is uh, Ron Reagan and uh, Mr. Obama wrong? Well, equity is all very fine. The law is the law. But if anybody feels they're not paying enough taxes, there's a simple solution. Pay more. Just pay more. Just pay more. Yeah. And, when it, and when it comes to my friend, Mr. Warren Buffet, I mean Buffett or whatever his name is, uh, if you're so eager to have everybody pay more taxes, why don't you pay your own? Can I just he owes, owes $4.5 billion dollars in taxes dating back to 2002. So my buffet rule is this. If you owe taxes, over the past 10 years, you don't have to pay them. Why, that, to me, is what the buffet really should be all about. Why are we always knocking down the people who are willing to sacrifice their own best interest and come forward and be point people on this? Warren Buffett, Sandra Fluke uh, is another example. Somebody who just wants a policy change for the best interest of the country, even though it's contradictory it's to their own best interest. It's not for the best, best interest of the country, Andrew, it was for when, when the capital gains tax goes from 15% to 20%, government revenues are reduced. That has been proven time and time again. So increasing a capital gains tax on invested money that you've already paid a corporate tax or an income tax on is not fairness and it's not smart. But that's not, it's that's not, smart. not entirely the case. Part of the reason why, and we're going to get into more of this with tax day Lumen. we're going to be talking about what both obama who's released his returns now and also romney who hasn't i don't expect will romney when he was at bain he didn't risk putting his skin in the game he took investors <laughs> money basically what a hedge fund does invest that money but yet he got to pay a reduced tax rate as if he was risking his own money like investors was to me that's not what the intention was behind capital gains or carried interest it's it's a it's a crock to say that you know I understand if you're starting a business you want to incentivize the businessmen or the job creators as they're called to try something but in a lot of cases now these guys aren't risking skin in the game Congressman I just don't buy it I I, I disagree with you completely well, many reasons and, he's one of my favorite and, guys he's and, always bringing and, and, props. and oh by Let's the see. way when Mitt Romney and Bain Capital invested in a guy who says I've got a new idea for office supplies it's called Staples mm -hmm. he stuck with the board of directors for 15 years he built it from half a dozen people to 90,000 employees and yes he received the benefit of that but the benefit he received was taxed through corporate taxes before he invested it in stocks and bonds which is now why he pays a I'm a capital gains he's tax for a long... No, but he says he's paying 13, 14% taxes 
and most people in this country assuming, are paying in the mid 30. Assuming he makes a long-term capital gain. But what if he has a long-term capital loss? That is also the risk that is there. But the point you're missing is our corporate taxes are the highest in the nation. These people who have uh, large investment accounts only on paper. already, already only have on paper. paid their Nobody, corporate taxes. Only on paper. Now no, they with all the capital gains not with all the offshoring of money, and, not and, with all the deductions and the that they get. The bottom line is, the bottom line is, and, and everyone knows that when you increase your, your capital gains tax, 15, 20%, 25%, you reduce the revenue. We're trying okay, to reduce the deficit. We're trying to grow the economy. Year, though, it's so a political year, though. It's a political year. We can politics. philosophically disagree. Agree. It's but a at sham. the end of the day, it's a the sham. vast majority of Americans don't agree with you on this. Well, one. that's that doesn't matter. I have my point of view. Fair enough. And 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 I think that uh, I'm correct on the and issue. Your party's going to We're trying to we're trying to grow the economy. We're trying to create jobs, not reduce the economy and eliminate jobs. And this buffet rule, as Charles Krauthammer said, is a sham. Well, there's, it's a there's sham. an objective yeah, opinion. Yeah, Mr. Krauthammer, Mr. Middle, I, I believe.